No. Um, right, let's go. Really, um, a, a really um, important trig ratio. It's quite different from sine and cosine in that it deals with sine and cosine at the same time when we look at the graphs. But when we're looking at the tan rule, it's special because we're finding a side given the angles. So what it's saying here is that the um, well, if we're given all three angles, we can find the side. So if we've got the angles of a triangle, we've got 76 degrees, we've got 65 degrees, what does that make? 130, 141, that means we've got 39 degrees, is that right? 130, 141, yep, 180. So we can find out what A is by labelling one of the sides, yeah, this one, and saying, all right, so this is big A, this is big C. So that the B and C are on either side of the A. All right, so A equals 24 tan A tan, oh, hang on, not A. We've got B, which is tan C, tan A. So we have to match the, um, the angles with the sides like we have normally. So it's this one here that has to go on the bottom. So 24, tan, 65 degrees, tan, 39 degrees, over tan, 76 degrees. All right, so what does that equal? Calculator. Um, well, it's a special number. I don't know, actually. I had to look that up. Yeah, you always put 24. Radians again. 10.39? 10 10 10.39. 10 so 10.39, what is the unit? You got 7.9. Okay, I need two nine into, cap, into radians and figure it out. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, well, Ten point three nine. So I don't know. Okay, there you go. All right. So when we use this rule, we um we um we um get April Fools. Guess what, guys? There's no ten rule. Thank <laughs> you.